food creators. What do you get when you cross stew with soup? How about stoop? And today I have a wonderful stoop recipe for you. Let's get started. Okay, so the wonderful dish that I'm making for you is sausage greens and sweet potato stoop. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all get ready. And it is phenomenal, and I always say that, but I'm going to cook it with a wonderful friend of mine, Sisterpreneur, and she's my boundaries coach. What's a boundaries coach? I will let her tell you that. I am ready to introduce to you my wonderful and beautiful Sisterpreneur. Pamela Brown Bird, she is phenomenal, y'all, and we are going to cook up some soups. Yes. She loves soup, y'all. Yes. So we we are gonna I'm gonna show her this wonderful dish that y'all gonna really love. So get ready. This dish is one of those one pot dish where you can just throw everything in there and go. Let me tell you the origin of the stoop. I went to the grocery store and they had sausage, kale, and sweet potato soup. And I got some and I was, I was like, that is good. But I know I can do it better. So I came home and I tried it and I loved it and I tried it some more and kept improving. And this is going to be the finished product for y'all. I mean, really, my husband, and you know how discerning he is when it comes to food, right? He was like, yes, that's it. So this is what we got. All right, I got ground turkey that I have already seasoned up. I browned it up. I have uh, garlic sausage, Polish sausage. I have my stock. Check out my video for that. We got the link in the description box for you. I got some parsley for garnish. I have uh, basil tomatoes. You always gotta have the trinity. A lot of people call them soup starters. Collard greens, you can use kale if you want, but I thought that sweet potatoes, collard greens would go great together. So, hey, that's why I got that. And, of course, you got garlic. And over here, we got my seasonings, different seasonings, and we'll get to that in a minute. But we got sweet potatoes, too, y'all. Oh, yeah. Got to put those in the Epicure, my multi stammer. We're going to put this in the microwave. We're going to start it off for about 12 minutes. And then while that's doing this thing, we're going to go ahead and get rock and rolling on the other stuff. All right, so now we're going to get started. Pam is going to put the sausage in there. We're cooking for real, y'all, so don't worry about the sound. We want to hear that sizzle, right? Want to hear that sizzle? So I'm going to pack it past to her. Now what we're doing here is that we want this to get nice and brown. We want to get it brown so the flavors will come out, okay? You want to extract the flavors from the sausage. So we're just going to let it hang out for a little bit and come back to you. All right, so we're going to look at how it's coming along. And while we're doing that, we're going to let Pam talk about what a boundaries coach is. Okay, well, I will tell you, Sonia, that a boundary, what I do is I help women teach them how to set boundaries in all areas of life. There are so many areas that we as women are apprehensive about setting boundaries and because we're afraid we're afraid of what it will result in mm -hmm. and a lot of times if you take a risk and set the boundaries then you end up being better more empowered for yourself to do the things that you need to do that's basically what i do as a boundary coach all right cool 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 and if you're interested her information is going to be in the description box as well as her youtube link so let's look. Let's look at what we're looking for. Look at the sausages. Mm. They're a little bit more brown. Now we're going to put the Trinity in there. Put okay. the Trinity in. So the Trinity, for those of you who don't know, is onions, peppers, and celery. And some of y'all may know it as soup starters in the grocery store and in the freezer. Every soup should have the Trinity in it. So she's going to get this all good and yummy. We're just trying to sweat out. And any of those yummy bits that are down in the 
the pot. I noticed, Sonia, Chef Sonia, that you have some yellow peppers in there as well as the green. Is that a preference for you or just something if you happen to have it? I think it just looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Well, honestly, some of y'all don't know this, but the green ones means that it's not uh, ripened. And a lot of people use the green ones, you know, just because. It's, and they're cheaper than the, the ones that are ripe, the yellow ones, the red ones, and the orange ones. Mm -hmm. But uh, I go to a store where they, the price is a lot cheaper, and I just stock up on them, and I cut them up, and I just love to see how it looks in my dish. I think that's just me. Wow, I love that, what you said yeah. about they're not ripened when they're green. Yes. Great <laughs> I always get such great tips from Sonia, from Chef Sonia. Always. <laughs> All right, so ooh, y'all, it smells good already because you know onions and bell peppers and celery, that's, that scent is there. And then we got the garlic sausage. Now we're gonna put mm, garlic, more fresh garlic, y'all. Please don't get that stuff in the jar. It yeah. just, mm -mm. see, G-Man knows, he knows. So we're gonna put that in there. Get all of that in there, get it all, because you gotta have all that. You know vampires this October too, we don't want to eat vampires. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to burn your garlic. So I like to put my garlic in afterwards. Now I could have put it in with the other ones, but I like to put it in afterwards so I won't burn it because trust me, burnt garlic does not taste good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Collard greens. Now, like I said, you can use kale. You can even use spinach, arugula, whatever you want because the recipe is just a guy created the way you want. The last time that I've done this, I did it with the collard greens. And I like to sweat it out or whatever, you know, just to make it wilt, just like you would spinach. And it just makes it taste so good. Just take it to another level. And then we're gonna put all that in there because it's gonna cook down. It's gonna cook down. See, look, you, you saw all those greens that, I, that we put in there? It looked like it was a whole lot. It's just like getting a bag of spinach and bam, it's just all gone. So we still got room to put more stuff in here, so don't worry about it. I'm just trying to wilt this a little bit more, and then we're gonna go to the next step. It's time to season. Oh, oh. Y'all know me, right? My house seasoning consists of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and uh, today we're gonna use some Italian seasoning. So we're gonna put the onion powder in there. It's just a little bit, just go and put it on there. <laughs> Got some garlic powder. Yes, garlic powder on top of the minced garlic, okay? All right. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of the crushed red peppers in there because we don't wanna burn anybody's butt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna put a pinch of salt, couple of pinches of salt. Look at that. Y'all see those colors? Look at that. You just you just know that it's that it's good. So now we're gonna put the ground turkey in there, seasoned ground turkey. This is when you have those leftovers at home and you're trying to figure out what to do with it. And another reason why I put the meat in there is because you know my husband's like, hey, where's the meat? And that little sausage wasn't gonna be enough for him, so I had to put that in there. Look at all that. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. So now we're gonna put the tomatoes in. I did not drain the tomatoes because I wanted the flavor from the basil tomatoes. All right, so now we are going to put my stock in. Woo! Check out the link in the video for the stock. And see how I brought it down? And you know what, I have to say, don't just use store, I mean, you can use store-bought stock, but you have to see Chef Sonia's recipe <laughs> for stock. Bone broth. Yes. It is <laughs> amazing and will give you such a different taste. Yes. Such a richer taste than regular mm -hmm. box. Yes, and Chicken you can see broth. the body in that. I should have shown y'all so you can see how the body of it looks, and it looks totally different. So I'm going to let her do her thing, and I'm going to puree these sweet potatoes for you. Now, you always want to make sure your potatoes are fork tender, and these are, as you can see, the fork is going through them. 
And that's what we want. And it's time for the next step. Okay, so while Pam is doing her thing over here, I'm going to puree these wonderful sweet potatoes. in there but we got to taste the broth right so we want to taste the broth and got her single use spoon we're going to taste this make sure it's the way we like it oh way i like it with that one mmm <laughs> needs needs some more stuff though mm. see that's why you always want to taste your food okay you want to taste it and I'm thinking that we're gonna to need to put some more garlic powder I'm in there. I need some salt in there. Yeah, and salt, a little bit more salt. Now, even though when I do my stock, I put just a little bit of salt in there, and you don't wanna to put too much salt in your stock because as it cooks, it concentrates, okay? So that's why in culinary school, we didn't even put the salt in there, okay? So we're gonna let that stir you need around. more pepper? We can put pepper in there, whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. We I think we need red pepper. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Girl after my own heart, she loves that heat. Want that heat. There we go. How much? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yep. So we're going to let that come up to, to a boil and come back. Time to try it again. After Pam has re-seasoned it, want to make sure it's where we want yeah, I, I think it's better. It's better now. Okay. Yeah. okay, so now it's time to put in the sweet potatoes because I know you were wondering, it's just on you, where does the sweet potatoes come in? Well, now we're going to put this in. Pam, we're going to put it in. Yeah. Um, be careful putting it in because the pot is hot. And y'all, just so you know, all the greens that I use are the shredded greens because they have chopped greens. I like the shredded ones better because I think that they cook better and, and uh, they cook faster. But that's completely up to you. It's this, this up to you whatever you decide. But the sweet potatoes is not only going to give it a little sweetness and uh, more flavor, but it's also going to give it that body that a lot of people like to use for, they might use like a, a cream base. I was going to say, it's a good substitute for yeah, a cream or base. Or tomatoes. And then you get all those vitamins, y'all. You get all those yummy vitamins in here. Mmm, look at that. See, it's coming together. Just takes, takes a minute to just pull it together. So this is for, you think of it, for people that are uh, gluten, for gluten free and they don't want any, um, the, you know, the dairy in there or they don't want any um, flour in there right, or, you know, right. so you can just do this and give it that extra body. Mmm. It's so colorful. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to make sure this all gets out of there. And we eat with our eyes. We eat with our eyes. Yes, we do. Yes. Wow. And, and if you didn't want to do this part, like I said, you could just use the, just make sure you have uh, small enough chunks and just eat it that way. This is how I did it. And I, I think you're going to like it. Okay, so now the soup is boiling. And we're just going to let it do its magic. We're going to turn it down on simmer and let it simmer for at least 30 minutes for those of you that you know, gotta have it. <laughs> but if you can, let it let it hang out for about an hour. So we're gonna turn this down on summer and put the top on there, and then come on back. All right, we can already show you how it looks. Look at that! Wow! Look at it! Yum! Yep. So yes. she's gonna get her spoon. Yeah, we're gonna stir it up. She's gonna get her spoon, and we're gonna try it. Make sure the season's the way we want it to be. I love that color. Yes. It just screams fall, y'all. It does. It screams fall. <laughs> Perfect. So we got to try it. Okay. I got mine. You got yours? Yep, I sure do. Okay, okay. Oh, mm. Ooh, did I get my shirt wet? <laughs> that tastes like fall. Mm. That is excellent. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we got to bowl this up. Look at all that. You're getting all that goodness. You get Jeff Sonia's homemade broth or stock, whichever yes. one you want. And you're getting your greens for the day. 
Bet you probably never thought about putting collard greens in there, huh? Never. And you're getting never. your sweet potatoes. You're getting your collard greens and sweet potatoes all in one bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Now, I am glistening in this kitchen. We're going to eat this hot soup. Oh, my goodness. And it's chilly outside, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's bad. And just so you know, the flavors taste so much better the next day. It always tastes better the next day, right? So can you see yourself making this, fam? Oh my God, I will be making this for okay. sure. And I'm gonna send you pictures. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We want you to take pictures. And I want you to comment, y'all, because some of y'all don't comment. I want to hear from you, want to hear from me. What, what do you want your chef to cook? What do you want your chef and her friends to cook? All right, so we're going to get out here. Don't forget the description is in the box for Pam and her information. Uh, remember, a recipe is just a guide. Create the way you and your friends want using your heart and your head. See you next time.